Labels are great for clothes. But not for people. But with great fame comes greater stereotyping. Hi, I'm Masaba Gupta. Hi, I'm Srishti Dixit. Hi, I'm Kusha Kapila. And today, we, we destroy, destroy labels. labels. Why don't we talk about some of the stereotypes that have been associated with the three of us? Where do I begin? I think I'll start with this one, tomboy. Somehow women are associated with this word if you don't wear like cute floral tops and you know you're always cutesy and always feminine. I feel really bad as a child because uh, I, I used to play a lot of tennis and I had like muscles and I used to wear these tank tops and walk around my racket. But then I got labelled as a tomboy, which still exists, so... So one stereotype that I get quite often is that of being a jhalli. And it is a correct stereotype, I completely agree, I am a jhalli. But the thing that bothers me about this is that people assume that I am only a jhalli. And I am so much more than that. Like honestly, I don't wear a lot of makeup usually when I am making videos and stuff. But whenever I do, whenever I dress up or whenever I feel like I want to look pretty for things, people are shocked. And we're all, I think all of us are jhalli at some level, at some point of the day yeah. in our house, behind, it's lockdown. behind the scenes. The whole world is a yeah. jhalli right now. Without <laughs> lockdown also, I think when we finish finish facing the day, I think all of us have this version of, our, version of jhalli that we all become. Yeah. So girls, I want to tell you that recently I got a man hater ki. Oh uh, lockdown. Oh no. <laughs> it just feels like this word that I want to just like shrug it off. It's like it's like a bra when you come come back home and you want to immediately remove it. This whole idea of hating men is so misplaced. Like obviously we don't hate men. We want men to be allies. We want men to understand where we are coming from. We want men to help us progress and be progressive themselves like just because we are mad because we've been fucked with so long for so long so many generations and decades obviously we'll be a little angry but that doesn't mean that we're angry at all men unanimously like that's just uh, an unfair assumption men are great some of them so this is one of the other things that i've been called uh from a very young age because I think I was a very um, uh, angry child. Uh, there's many reasons for that but I was a really angry child and I was very passionate about sport. Now the thing is, I think women uh, when they're passionate about something to the level that I was, especially about with sport which is, you know, a very, it's a physical thing, right? So I feel like you get boxed into this thing and you, you're called aggressive. So everyone's like, you're so aggro and you're so aggro and... I think we need aggressive women doing more things, taking charge, leading projects because being aggressive means you care, you are passionate, you care about achieving something. If men are aggressive, they are called driven but when women are aggressive, we are aggressive which is unfair, unfair double standard. Uh, the South Delhi stereotype, very close to my heart, has kind of sort of made my career and given me uh, the visibility that I needed up or up, it's it's weird, you know. When I go out and when I meet people, they're like, you know, are you the, are you like that? Are you like that character? Which is so funny because clearly I'm not. Okay, first of all, I've never lived in South Delhi. I am from North Delhi, uh, so ये बहुत हो गया stereotype. ये seen ही नहीं है. I am Kusha and that's what I am. I would I would love to own property in South Delhi, but I don't think that's gonna happen in this lifetime. Another stereotype that I get saddled with is uh, being an angry feminist. क्यों बात कर रही है? No way, guys. Guess who also gets called this? Then you are doing something right, clearly. I am an angry feminist. Even if we are angry feminists, I feel it's fine because 
we need angry feminists too. We need calm feminists. We need jolly, happy, polite feminists, and we need some angry feminists. We, we need like all sorts of all uh, temperaments of feminists, as long as we are feminists. Like a casata of feminists. All yeah. flavors, all sizes. We are not ho a homogenous product. We are not all the same in terms of our personalities. We are all very different types of people also. But our common yeah. goal is equal rights, so that's fine. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this little chat of ours. But um, what I really want to say is, you know, you can be anybody in any part of the world. It doesn't matter where you come from. And it doesn't matter at what age you want to start over. Just start over and just don't confine yourself to a box. Shatter the box, think out of the box and do whatever the hell you want to do. Check out Masaba Masaba on Netflix. I think it is pretty cool that Masaba is rediscovering herself and she's an actor now. And I think she's doing a pretty good job. I have read all the tweets, all Instagram stories and everybody seems to like it. Confession time, I have a fake Masaba print. <gasps> when, when I was 19, I bought it. I'm sorry Masaba. I'm replacing it just... today with a factual Masaba print. <laughs> this is very bad. <laughs>